Guys, welcome to a very special episode of Value My Gaming because today we're going to be grabbing our copy of Retro Gamer, jumping on an airplane and heading on over to the Scandinavian country of Denmark. We're going to be checking out a little retro game shop in Copenhagen called, just give me a minute, um, I believe it's called Nintendo Pusherin. Well, I know it's called Nintendo Pusher, and I just hope I've not absolutely decimated the name of it. I very well could have. So, guys from the shop, if you're watching this for some reason, I hope I've not butchered the name of your shop. Anyway, it's a fantastic little retro game shop. Now, one of the reasons why I found it so awesome to be in there and checking it out was simply because a lot of the games that I were looking at, you just don't get to see very often. I mean, for example, Metal Gear for the NES. He must have had six or seven copies of this, boxed and unboxed. Good condition to bad condition. Simple as that. Mint, even. You don't get to see that very often in the UK. As a matter of fact, I mean, obviously, I'll go around quite a few retro gaming shops, or at least as much as I can, and sometimes you don't see any copies of Metal Gear for the NES. Now, I was chatting with him after I'd filmed the footage, and it seems as though some of the games I was telling him about that we see regularly over here, you never get to see over there. So it was really quite an experience, guys. You'll have to forgive him. He's essentially still got plaster on the walls because the shop's not exactly where he wants it to be just yet. But the stock inside has got exactly what needs to be in there. So guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the footage, and we'll come back afterwards and I'll show you what I bought from him. footage I managed to get of the shop. So essentially you walk through the door and to the right you've got all your Nintendo stuff, your NES, your snares, all that. And then if you go to the left you've got your PlayStation, your Xbox and, and, and all that. You can see wall to wall of PS1, PS2. It's absolutely superb. Did you see the uh, TIE Fighter lamp that the guy had made? It was absolutely incredible. The light comes out of the cockpit. 
uh, yet, like I say, he made it himself. And if there was a way I could have got that into my luggage and back home, I would have snatched it up in a heartbeat. It was absolutely fantastic. He had a Millennium Falcon too. Uh, I preferred the TIE Fighter personally. I thought it was really, really, really cool. So let me show you what I bought. Now, I did only buy one thing. Essentially, I didn't have all that much money to, uh, to get blowing on retro games while I was out there. But how could I walk away with nothing? So this is something that I would imagine a lot of you aren't expecting me to uh, be showing you right now, but it was a PS Vita Space Hulk. Now that was 200 Danish Corona, which uh, is about 23 pounds 50. Now it's sealed, but I'll open it up because it's essentially just cling film. It's not the uh, original packaging, but the game definitely looks it's in pretty, pretty good nick, even new. I didn't know if there was meant to be a, a manual in there. Guys, is there meant to be some sort of insert in there? I'm not sure, but it's definitely, definitely in really good nick. So yeah, Space Hawk for the Vita. I bought that simply because I, I, I fancy playing it, simple as that. As for retro stuff, guys, I didn't take anything else away. Now, what I was looking at earlier was this uh, Co-Play Hagen guidebook now there are more retro gaming shops in copenhagen but unfortunately i didn't have enough time to go around them all as i was out there for work but essentially there's a little guidebook that the, all the guys that are into the retro gaming scene in copenhagen have put together and he was telling me about another retro game shop which i would absolutely love to have gone to i don't know the name of it but it's a hairdresser and a retro gaming shop. So essentially you can sit there having your hair cut, which is probably something I ought to think about doing, and while playing Tetris. And then after you've played Tetris and had your hair cut, you can even buy it. What an awesome idea. I definitely need to, uh, we need to see more stuff like that, don't we, going around. That really is a unique idea. So yeah, guys, if you're going over to Copenhagen on, uh, on holiday, there's, there's retro gaming shops to go around and do not miss out on Nintendo Push Run. It's an absolutely wicked, wicked retro gaming shop and it was a fantastic experience to be able to go over there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the footage I managed to get you. Please take care of yourself. I'm absolutely loving making content right now. So stick with me, like, subscribe, share the video, do whatever you've got to do. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you again real soon for another special episode of Value My Gaming where we're going to be going around doorway to darkness. Oh yes, doorway to darkness in the UK. It's got to be one of the best retro gaming shops I've ever been in. Take care of yourself, guys, and I'll see you again real soon.